I just feel like this is going to be another Bro. amazing oh, fight. Ready? These guys are stalking each ready? other right now. Both early amateurs, but you can just you can see the composure and the gyms these guys come from. They're used to it in everyday training. Oh, Ooh, Turnblom's nice. coming out with some stuff. Oh, man. O and O amateur. Look at this guy already. Look at the composure. Both of these guys looking sharp in the opening moments. His head kick down to the body, back up to the head. Beautiful combinations here at a jig. And Tour throws a, a great combination to the head and body, and it circles right out. Nice. Good for There's a hard right hand Jake caught him with right there. Bo just kind of shakes it off. Man, tough guys in here. Teep to the body right there. Back up to the head of those leg kicks. Just constant, constant firing oh! by both guys. Turnblom's having fun. Both guys that spinning back kick right there. Yeah, both Turnblom's making tour get his running shoes out. He's just stalking. Definitely. Ooh, oh! Nice right hand by Jake. Jake was a D1 corner. They're, no, they're good at backing up, right? So you're seeing a lot of that tonight. He's really good in that backup and landing with that right hand. Great footwork from both of these fighters so far. Ooh, another right oh. hand. So Notice fast. how he backs up, he backs up, he backs up, and he plants and fires that right hand. And that is working for him tonight. Ooh, Bo right back with some heavy leather. Body. Oh, the left hook. Right to the body, left hook to the head. Jake is doing an excellent job of going up and down, both of the, both his kicks and his punches. Turnblom's a juggernaut. He's just walking through it. Walking through it, stalking him down, and throwing some heavy leather of his own. Spinning back fist. Man, what a dynamic fight here. Fight two tonight. And Tewart's on his horse. He's got his running shoes out, but it's working. He's able to, to circle off, and Turnblom's just chasing right now. A lot of dynamic strikes here out of Turnbaum. Jake doing a good job of going downstairs, upstairs. Oh, going in for the Imanari roll. Beautiful technique. That's that's one that's really hard to pull off. We've seen it a couple times in the UFC, but I like to see it at the amateur level. Bo Turnbaum pulling out shades of Ryan Hall, but Jake Tewart's just sitting down and throwing big shots. We've talked before, Rocky. Can that mess with the, the head of Jake Tewart when his bombs are landing, but it's not knocking Turnblom out? You know, we see it all the time when they when they land, they hit with everything. Oh, oh right into some leg attacks. No way. Now, heel hooks are not allowed here at the amateur yes, level. Yes, they are in are Kentucky. They? Oh, yes, no, are. the heel hooks are illegal. He's got some good heel hook attempts here. Jake doing a good job of... Good oh, pressure. my goodness. Oh. Holy cow. Please how, correct me. I had no how idea. How entertaining is that? Oh, and he ate some... That's, that's the problem with going for leg attacks in MMA. They're very dangerous if you can get it, you can tear somebody's leg up. But both your arms are committed to one leg, and that leaves your opponent's both hands to punch your face. If, if you can do what Tour did there and maintain good top pressure and come up over top of your opponent when they're trying to attack a leg, you could just make them pay for it. Definitely. We saw that right here, Ralph. See, what, 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 what oh round did we in? I, I mean... It seems I, like this fight's been fantastic. And these guys are just throwing fast, sharp, crisp punches. Alex, this is an amateur fight, my friend. These guys are, are both going to be good pros. You can just tell. We're, we're lucky to have them here on the B2 Fighting Series roster. And, you know, we've, we're quick to, to up, and everyone knows, the prestige of Date Vision. But Scorpion Fighting Systems, is, I mean, how many great fights have they put on for us in the last month? Definitely. I mean, they're they're a staple of their V2 fighting series almost at this point, coming all the way down from Michigan just about every weekend. Yep. It just goes to the prestige of the, of the, and the caliber of pedigree these guys are training with on a daily basis. Jake oh Tewart getting a small warning from our referee about grabbing the cage here. I really like that he told him that between rounds. No reason to stop the action. Yep. Another spinning back kick. Both guys very creative in the cage for such young amateurs. 
Good advice coming from Joey Patterson in the corner of Jake. What nice a shot. shot right into a double. Oh Good timing. Gosh. Look right into the leg hook right there. Right into full mount. Beautiful Man. chain wrestling right there by Bo. And Tewart's in a bad spot here with his back on the cage. Now, there is a mounted guillotine right here if he, he keeps his chin down like that. Now, good job of Tewart to wall walk, but Turnbull, I'm so far riding tough. Just as I say that, Tewart able to athlete his way out. Right away, he's eating some punches. Oh! Ooh. Jake firing right back. Look at that nose right now on Bo. He's bleeding pretty good. Tewart just throwing the jab out. Something to think about right hand. Boom! Oh, oh he's a the uppercut. Right uppercut that goes right in and finishes the double. He's sensing, I think he senses a little bit of desperation right now. His nose is busted. He's probably having a little bit of a hard time breathing. He knows he's got to get a hold of him and, and take this fight to the ground. But Turnblom's two for two. Relatively easy on these blast doubles. We'll see if Turnblom's able to hold Tewart down this time. Trying to suck Tewart right here. Trying to work his way to full mount. Jake doing a good job of pushing that knee down, trying to work himself back to half guard. Bo doing a good job of defending that. Jake's got to be careful right here, putting up his back. No way. Oh, no, no way. way. Oh I don't even know what, what we just saw, but that was some slick jiu-jitsu attempt stuff right there. That blood may be starting to play a factor in his... Oh, oh right the into the GP position, right into oh. the triangle. What about some slick jujitsu? And he's right under here. the right Whoa. leg. He's got the right leg hooked already. That is tight. That could be tight. Turnbull needs to pass the arm. We could see the finish right now. With Jake Twerk. Bo doing a good job of reaching under that leg, cutting an angle. He's doing everything right now. Right now, Jake is just a tough dude defending off this triangle choke. Tewart throwing punches. It's hard to see on the camera there, but Tewart's actually throwing punches. I think he's able to survive right now because the right arm isn't passed. Oh, and he pops right out. Right to the leg. That's some nice chain jiu-jitsu right there, straight from the triangle. As Jake tried to defeat, he went straight for a leg attempt. And Turnbull's just wearing the blood. He doesn't even care. He's loving it. Usually you see that to really start to affect the breathing of a fighter. You can't breathe through your nose, you're breathing through your mouth. As you can see, his mouth's open. But you can't tell in the performance of this guy that he's breathing anything. Oh, else. the oh, Superman! He eats a right hand! What a way to finish the round! Wow, what a fight. How do you call that one, Alex? I don't. <laughs> I just don't. I appreciate it. I appreciate the fight. I would never want to judge this. Here we go again saying the same old thing. Sound My like broken gosh. records. That is what we do here at B2 Fighting Series. And that's because you're you're perennially over and over again getting amazing fights here. I mean, my goodness, we're two fights in, and I, I'm speechless already. You see some of that phenomenal grappling. Bo standing up there with a smile. He's loving every minute of his amateur debut. Is this a guy, Bo Turnblum, that's been waiting to be 18 to fight MMA? Man, this is the kid that you know he walked in the gym, and he saw the guys in there sparring, and he said, that's what I want to do, and he's never left since. Oh, my goodness. Excellent performance tonight by both of these guys. You see Jeremy Pender here in the corner of Jake. Another veteran of the sport. Been around a long time. Still very active. That's the kind of guy you, it, it's uh, comfortable to have in the right there. Third and final round coming up. And you get the sense there's going to be no shortage of action in this third and final round. If it plays off any what the previous two were, <laughs> we're in for another great one. Seconds out right now. Only fighters and one referee in the cage. These guys are ready to put an exclamation mark on this fight. Both guys all smiles tonight to start round three. Tom, you ready? Bo, are you ready? Jeremy you ready? Pender instructing his guy to Move your feet. He wants to see more feet movement in round three here. Right, nice to the body, right up to the head. There he's portraying that again, down, up, really mixing it up, making it hard for Bo to understand what's coming at him. I like how Tour is constantly cutting angles, moving. Oh, Ooh, there's a hard left hook. 
forces Bo to shoot. Is he going to finish this? Is nope. Tobom going to be able to finish? He's still in the hunt for this for this takedown. Oh, and he's he improved his position. He's in a good spot. Bo Turnblom. Can't tell what's going on. Turnblom's got the body lock. Body lock. Jake's got a whizzer. He can really get a good toss with this, but the more that Turnblom circles to that back, it's going to be really hard to do anything in that whizzer. You just get the feeling that that this fight has worn on Jake Tour. He's taken the worst of it, despite the face of Turnblom. When a guy can stand up and just recklessly throw punches and blast. Oh, oh that, knee, was that was very he illegal. It, he knew it right away, exactly what happened. Legal shot, he knew that right so away. That is so unfortunate. This fight might be over. You see that quite often. Guys get wrapped up in the moment, and they're just yeah. everything they got. It was definitely not something that was mine to throw an illegal strike, but it was illegal nonetheless. Yeah, I oh, hate to see that. That was a hard one, too. Turnblom knew immediately. Tour's hurt. This could be a possible point deduction. This could be Tour a possible disqualification. Yep. yep, if Tour cannot continue, this will be a dis disqualification win for Tour. Referee George Conley reminding Bo Turnblom he needs to be in a neutral corner. That, of course, is the rule. You can't get coaching. Go to the right play here and see this knee. Yep. Yes, he was definitely a downed opponent, 100%. And there you can see that. He knew right away. Exactly. This, I, I, I would think that this would be no less than a point deduction. Definitely. You see the despair there, Bo. He, he definitely was not trying to be a dirty opponent. It's no. just one of the things you get caught up in the moment. That's why this is amateur. Bo yep, these guys are constantly learning. That's what the amateur leagues are about. This is, of course, this is Bo Turnblom's first time ever competing in an MMA cage. This is a fight, you know. He looks confident and 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 happy, and but truth be told, he's scared and he wants to. His opponent wants to hurt him, and he wants to hurt. So sometimes the rules just aren't first and foremost in your brain. You're exactly right. But as Bo progresses, he gets more and more cage time. That won't be a thought. That's something that only comes with more cage time. It's like when people, you know, they'll grab the cage and you'll see a lot of spectators that'll be like, oh, we're going to go to a replay here. You see that knee again. Yep, oh, definitely. Yeah. Yep. And what it looks like to me is fight's over. That's not a surprise. Yep. yep. And and Bo doesn't even, he's not upset. He just immediately apologizes. It is what it is. Uh, we, hate, we hate that, of course. Um, it was a magnificent fight. But Most definitely. You hate to see it end like that, but, yeah. man, I'm uh, grateful to have been a part of the previous rounds. Yeah, absolutely amazing fight with a regrettable finish, a, a very sad conclusion to this fight. We, it was going to be in a magnificent third round. Nonetheless, we have to put a stamp on this one. We are going to go to ring announcer Lance Green for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the result of this fight, disqualification by a legal knee, your winner from the one more gym right corner, Jake Turner! You can see the disappointment there, Jake. He, he didn't want to win this way. I, don't, I doubt that he's going to go back claiming that he won tonight.